Hi, this is Joanna Stern of Laptop Magazine, and today we're doing a video review of the Samsung NC10. This is one of our most anticipated netbooks uh, of the year right now. This is Samsung's entry into the netbook market. It's also one of their entries into the U.S. notebook market. So this is a Samsung NC10. It's $499. We're going to take you uh, on a look around the system first. As you can see, it's got a Nice style, not you know, not too flashy, nothing like the EPC S101, but definitely a nice look to it. Kind of reminds us of the um, MSI Wind. This is the Veritech, but similar build, similar size. A white matte keyboard, a white matte lid with a kind of mirrored Samsung logo, and that mirrored look kind of stretches across the system. What you have on this side is two USB ports, your Ethernet on this side. It's some nice LED lights here. Definitely like the look, kind of looks futuristic here. You've got your three-in-one card reader slot down here. And speakers also located below the system. You've got your mic or headphone and another USB. So that's a total of three USBs, which we're happy to see, and a VGA out. Your power button's over here. I think that's a nice look. Kind of remind us of the Sony TT. And on the back here, let's talk now about the larger size battery that comes standard on this. This is a six cell battery. So you can see it kind of protrudes from the system. This one also here, you can see on the MSI Wind, this isn't the six cell battery, so it's kind of flush with the system. <clears throat> but we like that this offers a standard six cell battery because the battery life on this is really great. We're seeing six hours uh, or a little bit above six hours on our battery life testing, which is really, really quite good for a netbook. Underneath the hood, you've got the 10-inch screen, a nice 10-inch display, uh, you know, pretty much standard, pretty bright, nice looking. We'll show you that when we boot up the system. And let's just talk about the keyboard here for a second. Uh, we really didn't think that there were uh, any netbooks on the market that had as um, compelling as a keyboard as the MSI Wind. But we feel differently now that we've seen the Samsung NC10. Definitely nice look and feel here to the keyboard. Nice feedback. Uh, what we also really like is that you've got a full-size shift key right underneath the enter key. Uh, you didn't have that here on the wind. What you had here was an enter key with the shift key uh, to the left of the up arrow key. So that's definitely a nice difference for touch typists. Um, this is a different keyboard than um, you'll see in the U.S. since this is the Korean keyboard. Um, and this key, which should be the pipe key slash backslash key, is different, um, but we assume that will be different on the U.S. So definitely a nice look and feel to the keyboard. I'll give you kind of a look at that. Nice feel. Um, so I am definitely very impressed with the keyboard, and I'm a very big keyboard uh, person. Down to the trackpad, not as thrilled with the trackpad. It's kind of small. You get a smaller um, ratio here. We probably, they probably had to make room for the keyboard. Um, and the touch bar is very responsive, but no divot in between. Um, not a deal breaker, definitely. Uh, and also, this trackpad's multi-touch, uh, which is kind of cool um, if that you're if you're into kind of different gestures on the trackpad. So let's take a look at the performance now. So to show you guys a little bit of the performance here, uh, the internal specs on the Samsung NC10 are usually the are the usual netbook specs. We've got a um, 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor, 1 gig of RAM, and it's running um, Windows XP Home. So you can see here we've got the um, Korean version of Windows XP Home since we've gotten this system imported from Korea, um, but of course you'll expect the regular English version if you're to get this here in America. Um, as for performance, we're seeing the usual kind of netbook performance. Um, we obviously like to live in the web browser when we're testing these systems. So uh, everything from Hulu has been working really well, clearly very good streaming with the wireless connection. We've also had you know, a nice time browsing sites, especially with this built-in scroll pad here. So nice scrolling here on Engadget. Um, definitely quick load times. as you'll see here with New York Times. So definitely nice performance in the browser, which is you know what we really like to focus on. But of course, what's really nice about having the 10-inch system is that you can you know really kind of multitask 
and uh, we were using WordPad to write our review in there. Uh, we also were working in Skype, so nice, you know, handling of Skype video chat and calls, and also, you know, just to show you quick launch times. This you have to some reason keep doing in Korean. We're not sure. We must not have hit the right setting. And so quick load times and quick quick launch times, definitely that typical Atom performance that we're used to. So this is your first look here uh, at the Samsung NC10. We definitely think it's a great 10-inch netbook. We think it rivals some of the top netbooks in the category right now, which are uh, obviously the MSI Wind and the EPC-1000H. Check out our full review. This is Joanna Stern from Laptop Magazine checking out the Samsung NC10.